man, I uh, I want you to understand tonight there's a reason why you feel such a strong witness of the Holy Ghost when your man of God is declaring truth. It's because God is pleased with His words because they're spoken in the will of God and under the anointing of the Word of God. No tears in heaven tonight. Nothing wrong with tears down here. Don't 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 be ashamed of your tears. Amen. Jesus stood at the grave of his friend and wept. Amen. He's a man acquainted with sorrows. <laughs> but he's borne our griefs. <laughs> And carried our sorrow. <laughs> Woo! Amen. Amen. The shadow of death is a valley, but we don't live in it. We go through it. And bless your heart, we're going through it. Amen. It's one thing to sing it. One thing to say it, one thing to quote it. But it's something else to live it. Amen. And the Garcia family and this church family, amen, we have an opportunity to live what we know. To live what we know. Amen. It's one thing to know it. And you got to know it. Amen, but it's it's altogether better to not just have it in your head, but have it residing in your heart. Amen, we're going to live the truth. Amen, thank God for the church. Thank God for brothers and sisters. Thank God for real spiritual authority. Ha, <laughs> ha, Thank God for consolation and blessed assurance. Amen. 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 There's a reason why we're feeling what we're feeling here tonight. Amen. Heaven is testifying of this young man's readiness. We're in the will of God. I know this the world, this doesn't make a lick of sense to the world. The world reads the newspaper and they 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 read about what happened and and then they they become aware of how we're acting here tonight and there's you're a bunch of fruitcakes. No. No, just when the trumpet sounds. Just wait till the trumpet sounds. Just wait. It's going to make sense. Amen. Amen. I, uh, special anointing of the Holy Ghost here tonight. And, uh, this is, for obvious reasons, an unusual situation. And I, I, I appreciate Pastor Charles obeying the Holy Ghost. Would have been fine with me had he just stressed it on out. But I do have the Word of God on my heart tonight. And I want to mind God. Amen. I said I want to mind God. Amen. You know, the, <laughs> the, the best way to defeat hell is to please God. Enoch had this testimony that he pleased God. <laughs> uh -huh. And God took him. 
Amen. Amen. Hell, hell wants <laughs> hell wants to turn tragedy into turmoil, but he's too late. God's already God's already got His hands on this tragedy, and He's turned into triumph. You hear this evangelist night? God's going to get some glory out of this. More than what He's already getting here tonight. If I know anything about what I'm feeling, just let me tell you tonight. Amen. You're passing the test. You're passing the test. Amen. God is pleased with your attitude and with your response and your submission to spiritual authority and your receptiveness to the Word of God. Amen. 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 Turn in your Bibles, please, to Ephesians chapter 1. Amen. Amen. We're, we're not changing the order. Amen. We're going to just keep on speaking the Word of God tonight. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God for a testimony. Amen. There's only... There's only one way, amen, to have this approach to eternity. And that's to make your calling and election sure. If I could just put it in my words tonight, you've got to make sure you're saved. You've got to make sure. Amen. Why in the world? Would anybody try to get saved outside the the boundaries of God's Word? The plan and the outline. Amen. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's one God and Father of all, who's above all, through all, and in you all. Amen. There's one way to be saved. Amen. All roads don't lead to heaven. Amen. You've got to follow the plan. I said you've got to follow the plan. Amen. And the New Testament plan of salvation is repenting of your sins. Amen. Being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And being filled with the Holy Ghost, evidenced by speaking with other tongues as the Spirit of God gives you the utterance. Amen. And that's, that's how you get in. But you know what? Amen. We keep repenting. We keep pleading that blood that was applied to our hearts through baptism. We keep being filled with the Holy Ghost. It's not just how you get in, it's how you stay in. And then you're led and guided by the Holy Ghost. Amen. And, and you, you let the holiness of God begin to manifest itself in your life. Amen. And the things that you used to do, the way you used to live, amen, it's changed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God wants to fill you to, with the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. Whether or not you've received it before. If you never have, He wants to fill you for the first time. If you already have, He wants to fill you all over again. <laughs> Amen. When your vehicle pulls out of this parking lot onto the road tonight, you need to know. If what happened to the young man on Monday morning happens to me on Thursday morning, I know where I'm going. Amen. Amen. No man knows the day. Amen. Our time are in it, is in his hands. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Charles, for reminding this family and this church family. Amen. (laughs) 
Oh, hallelujah. There's no better place to be. Amen. And until we get where He is, there's no better place to be than in the family of God. Amen. Would you give me about 15 or 20 minutes to preach faith tonight? Amen. There's there's something that God wants us to understand about Him even better. I'm not saying that this church does, does not understand what I'm going to preach tonight, but there is a uh, a dimension of faith concerning God's greatness according to His Word that He wants to Amen. Reveal to us tonight. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 15. Apostle Paul writing to the church at Ephesus. Wherefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints. Cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers. And this is his prayer. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Notice this is not capital S, Holy Ghost Spirit. This is lowercase, human emotion, attitude, desire. Amen. Uh, I, I, may, I may push pause here, here and there while I'm reading this, but I want, to, I, want, I want us to understand this. Paul has said, I'm praying that you'll want to know more about God. The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the not God will help you. God will give you the want to. To want to know more about Him. Amen. This is what happens when, when that happens. The eyes, verse 18, of your understanding being enlightened. That you may know what is the hope of His calling. And what the riches, this is something else you know, what the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. Verse 19, we're not through knowing. And what is the exceeding uh, greatness of His power to usward who believe according to the working of His mighty power, which He wrought in Christ when He raised Him from the dead. Set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. This is where the Lord is tonight. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is His body, the fullness of Him that filleth all in uh, all. Would you clap your hands again tonight? By faith receive the Word and the will of God. Amen. Amen. You may be seated tonight. Lord bless you. Amen. All scriptures given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable. There's no wasted words in your Bible. It's in there for a reason. Word of God is of no private interpretation. Man, it's, it means what it says. The apostle said, For holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Holy men of God are still being moved on by the Holy Ghost to speak. 
Holy Ghost is still talking to the church. And God says what He wants to say the way He wants it said. Our Scripture text tonight is prime example of rightly dividing the Word of truth. Words mean things. The words that are used and the way that those words are used make a difference. Amen. We read tonight again from Ephesians chapter 1 and uh, our main emphasis tonight, verse 19, Paul said, there's some things I want you to know. I'm praying. First of all, that you'll receive a desire to know more. When you do, God will help you know what is the glory of His inheritance and what is the hope of His calling. And Then verse 19, what is the exceeding uh, greatness of His power to us who uh, believe? Amen. There's a whole lot of preaching here I'm skipping over, but again, words mean things. And this, this Greek word that's translated exceeding in our text appears in the Scriptures five uh, times. All of them are at the pen uh, of the Apostle Paul. Second Corinthians 9.14, Paul writes about the exceeding uh, grace uh, of God. Ephesians 2 and 7, the exceeding riches of His uh, grace. The same Greek word, uh, 2 Corinthians 3 and 10, uh, Paul uses uh, this word uh, and speaks of the glory that excelleth. Amen. Exceeding uh, and uh, excelleth. Two different words in the English language, but... The same uh, word in the Greek text. It's used again in Ephesians 3.19 and to know the love of Christ which passeth uh, knowledge. So exceeding, excelleth, and uh, passeth. Now, if you're just reading the Word of God and, and uh, not not really, again, even if you're really paying attention, just the way that these words are used in this modern generation. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the front of the line tonight. We would generally consider the word exceeding to be an adjective describing the greatness of His power. Exceeding uh, greatness. Now, that, that I would, when I would read that, I would say, well, he's just trying to emphasize the greatness. Exceeding greatness. But, but what about 2 Corinthians 3 and Ephesians 3 when the word is used as excelleth? That's not an adjective. That's a verb. And passeth. It's not an adjective. How could Paul use that word that way? Because in the Greek language, uh, this word uh, in the Greek is not an adjective. It is a verb. It is not a descriptive term. Uh, it is a term uh, of action. Paul is not helping us understand, uh, amen, about necessarily the greatness of the power, but rather uh, helping us understand uh, what God's power is doing. What is His power doing? His power is exceeding greatness.
Can I tell you tonight, greatness uh, is not great enough uh, to describe the power of God. Great uh, isn't great enough because the God I'm preaching about tonight uh, is greater than great. Because He has power uh, that doesn't just measure up to greatness. Uh, but Paul said, I want you to know uh, through a spirit of wisdom uh, and revelation uh, in the knowledge of Him uh, that the power of God uh, passes uh, greatness. Uh, amen. It surpasses uh, greatness. Uh, it excelleth uh, greatness. It exceeds uh, greatness. <laughs> now, not just that it exceeds, but what it exceeds is important. It exceeds greatness. It's greater than great. <laughs> The power of God is beyond great. Now, we're a little bit more familiar with this term great or greatness. Mega, megas. Uh, it, it means uh, greatness in various manifestations and ways. First of all, it's great in external form, size, or measure. Great building. Great power. Or let me make it real. Great opposition. Big problems. Uh-huh. <laughs> but God said, I, I got something for the apostolics of Ephesus to understand. Does it really matter how big the problem is? Because I'm bigger than big. Does it matter how great the opposition is? I'm greater because my power exceeds greatness. Somebody needs to hear this tonight. I'm a, we, we got a chance to live this. Great tragedy. Great loss. Great sorrow. Great agony. But there is a God in heaven. Hallelujah. It can mean great uh, in its degree uh, of intensity. A great heat. Intense, uh, amen, uh, and the, the effectiveness and the degree of intensity of something. I mean, those, there's... There's problems and then great problems. How many knows there's temptation and great temptation? There's, there's issues and then there's great issues. Don't get quiet on me tonight. I just, we, we, we've lived long enough to understand. Sometimes life is more intense than it is at other times. But God's power doesn't just measure up to the intensity of life and the intensity of temptation and the intensity of aggravation and the intensity of temptation. But it exceeds greatness. I 
I feel a holy boldness. Amen. Settling on my spirit right now like a mantle from glory. I feel a boldness in the Holy Ghost to declare. Amen. Hell. Amen. You can give us the best you got. I'm not challenging hell. I'm standing firm on the authority of God's Word. Devil, your best isn't good enough. The biggest you got ain't big enough. The in, most intense you've got is not intense enough. It's too big for me, uh, and it's too intense for my flesh. Uh, but I'm not talking about the power of the preacher. I'm not talking about the power of the church. I'm not talking about the power of humanity. Uh, what is the exceeding greatness of His? I'm talking about the power of God. I'm talking about the power of God. Come on, Mama, testify tonight. Uh, testify, Mama. God's greater. God's greater. God's greater. He's greater. He's greater. here. The eyes of our understanding are being enlightened. I'm seeing God in a way uh, that He wants to be seen tonight. He doesn't just measure up. Uh, he excels. Uh, he doesn't just measure up. Uh, he passes. He's not as big as my problem. Uh, he's greater. No matter how great the trial, how great the load, how great the sorrow, how great the problem, what is the exceeding greatness of His power? great is your God. How great. Uh, come on, we sing about it. How great uh, is our God. Sing uh, with me. Uh, how great is our God. And all the earth will sing. How great. We're not charging God foolishly. Uh, we're magnifying the greatness of our God tonight. We're not shaking our fists. Uh, we're lifting our hands. You're greater. God is greater. God is greater. My Savior God to thee, how great thou art! Nikola Bohoshaka Tolehe Shete Kilama 
Rosiko ye kalabo hosata. Lino sendalo mokiyato. Hey! Yela boya lo lo hoko ye kalabaha. great and greatly to be praised. God is great in my soul. Come on, take the lid off of God tonight. Take the limit off of God's power. That fear and doubt and unbelief and confusion. Stop letting the hell rob you uh, of revelation uh, and let God reveal to you just how great He is. You know the Hasakalaba. Amen. He wants to be great uh, for the Garcias tonight. Uh, but not just tonight. Uh, he'll be great for them tomorrow. Uh, and great for them Friday. Uh, he'll be great for them this time next year. Uh, if we're still uh, occupying uh, he man, Earth's population. Amen. Thank God for what He's doing for this family. But can I tell you, He's, he's greater been just great enough to minister to this family. For while he's doing this, he meant for this brother, and this for this brother, and this for this father, and this for this mother. He can be doing something for you. He's big enough. He's big enough. He'll forgive uh, if you'll repent. He'll feel uh, if you'll submit and surrender. He'll be all the God you need Him to be. Uh, For his power exceeds greatness. His power exceeds greatness. Come on, engage your human emotion. Somebody needs to worship in spirit and in truth. Somebody needs to submit and surrender your human emotion and animation. Somebody needs to offer a sacrifice of praise. And offer unto God, offer unto God your emotion. Offer unto God your passion. Give Him your spirit. Make sure you're saved. 
No matter how great your stain, no matter how great your sin, no matter how great your addiction, no matter how great your problems, what is the exceeding, 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 exceeding greatness of His power? Come on, if you believe, uh, He's greater than great. Uh, it's the exceeding greatness of His power uh, to us for who believe. He's as great uh, as you believe He is. Come on, go a little further. More spirit. More energy. More desire. More passion. More intensity. More hunger. More sensitivity. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of revelation. I want more. 